taking 17th overall at the finish and second in Class 10, Fraser Wilson and Craig Wallace were 40 seconds back from Class winners Ali Graham and Laura Stewart in their similar Evo 9. Taking ninth in class with the Subaru running a standard engine after yet more pre-event drama, Jeff Gowdy and Murray Strachan were just happy to see the finish. Eighth in the class went to fellow Subaru Cup crew Scott Much and Greg McDonald, who were delayed early on and spent the day in recovery mode. With Michael Cruikshank alongside, Duncan Campbell had another good run in his Impreza to 7th in class at the finish. Wrapping up the Subaru Cup with a solid 6th in class, it's been a good year for Matthew Thompson and Ian Graham. But it's been a rough year for Scott Macbeth, stepping up to four-wheel drive and suffering with his fair share of mechanical issues. Thankfully the Grampian went well with 4th in class and 22nd overall at the finish. Third in class was an excellent run for Simon Hay and Callum Jaffrey, finishing just under a minute away from Ian Wilson and Keith Riddickson Pretzer. After a bit of a rough day out by his standards, James Gibb salvaged 12th in class at the finish. Fifty seconds up, Lindsay Henderson took 11th in class as she continues to learn the four-wheel drive game in her Impreza. Taking only his second finish of the season, Sean Will was 10th in the class in the Evo. One minute and 16 seconds ahead, Keith Morris and Martin Forrest continue to learn about their new car, the more modified machine proving a little difficult to get used to. Fifteenth overall on Fraser's home patch, along with second in Group N, wrapped up a difficult year for Wilson and Wallace. But taking the Group N win and the championship, it's been a good year in four-wheel drive for Ali Graham and Laura Stewart. Seventh in class was a good reward for Duncan Campbell and Gavin Chisholm, Gavin having spent the day being rather unwell. Simon Hay and Callum Jaffrey wrapped up their first year in four-wheel drive with a solid sixth in class. Fourth in class went to Ian Baumgart and Mike Dixon. Third in class in their home stages was a great result for Ian Wilson and Keith Riddick. Taking 2nd in class and 10th overall, Michael Binney and Claire Mole had a fantastic day out and Michael is definitely one to watch in the future. Making a return to gravel after his big accident on the Border Counties, John Rintoul was understandably cautious on his way to 12th in class. Competing in Scotland for the first time since the snowman, Fraser McNichol took 11th in class. Taking one of his best finishes of the year, James Gibb was a solid 10th in class in the AG Fiesta. Sacrifice going to the first old firm game in years, Ross MacDonald arrived at the hill still in with a shout of the challengers. Unfortunately things didn't go his way on the event with 8th in class, but thankfully his team did win the football match. 